Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners 2019 on how to correctly make deposits in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so this can be a little bit confusing for people, uh, especially with QuickBooks Online if they've used QuickBooks Desktop because some of the, some of the steps are the same, uh, but when you introduce the bank feeds, if you're not used to those, it can throw a little bit of a wrinkle into the process. Okay, so first of all, um, in QuickBooks Online, uh, most likely you have uh, a setting set up that is going to deposit checks to an account called undeposited funds. Okay, undeposited funds is just like in QuickBooks Desktop, if you've used that, is a place, almost like a holding account, okay? So if you send invoices to customers and you receive payments throughout a, a week or you know whatever, and you don't go to the bank immediately, okay? So you get a check on Monday, for $1,000 and you apply it in QuickBooks. So you show it as paid against an invoice in QuickBooks, but you don't physically go to the bank until Wednesday. Okay, QuickBooks will, you can, it goes into an account called undeposited funds. But then when you go to the bank Wednesday, you have to make that deposit in QuickBooks. Okay, so you physically make the deposit and then you have to go into QuickBooks and make the deposit as well. And when I say make deposit, what I mean is you're moving that uh, money in QuickBooks from the undeposited funds account over to your checking account. Okay, and I wanna show you how to do that. And then we also wanna go through uh, how to make deposits uh, for deposits that aren't for invoices, okay? All right, so first things first, this is a sample company file and uh, there are some payments already recorded. Okay, and I'm gonna go in and we're going to um, receive a payment as well, okay? So what I wanna do is go over here to customers and receive payment, because I wanna show you this whole process and kind of how this works. Now, I don't know in this sample file. Okay, so Amy's Bird Sanctuary, she owes $239, okay? Now you're gonna see here that it says deposit to undeposited funds. Now, if you are going directly to the bank, you can change this to say checking, okay? Most people leave it on undeposited funds, okay? So let's go through, we're gonna fill this out. Let's say that it's a check. The reference number is the check number, okay? The amount received is $239. All right, and when I check there, it's gonna automatically check it and apply it to that payment. Okay, so if we hit save and close. Okay, so again, we'll, we'll assume you got this payment on Monday and now you're, it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're gonna take this payment to the bank with all your other payments. Okay, so let's go up to the quick create menu here. We go to bank deposit. Okay, so you'll see here this bank deposit. This is, you know, gonna, this is where you have to, to move this money from undeposited funds to the checking account. Okay, so let's say this deposit was 2301.52. Okay, and you're taking these three payments to the bank. That's all you do. So you click these and make sure your deposit slip shows 2301.52, or if you do remote deposit, make sure the totals are the same. And what you're gonna do is just hit save and close. And what that will do is move it from undeposited funds to the checking account. So now if we go to our chart of accounts, I wanna show you Okay, if we go to undeposited funds, that balance is now zero, all right? So if we view the register for undeposited funds, let me close some of this, you're gonna see that these amounts went came out of undeposited funds and went to the checking account, okay? So this is a very, very important step you wanna make sure that you do. Because if you don't, your checking account balance is gonna be incorrect. All right, so now let's say that you get a payment for something, okay, uh, that is just a check. Let's say it's a rebate check or something like that. Okay, so we wanna go to bank deposit. So in this case, we'll see there are no undeposited funds. All right, okay. And so we're just going to add lines to this deposit. So 
if, if let's say this was just some miscellaneous uh, income, okay, you can put in the customer, okay, we'll just say this was John Melton, okay, has the payment been recorded, you have an open invoice, all right, we're going to close that because we're going to say this is a payment other than the invoice. All right, so we're going to say that this is, let's see if we have some miscellaneous uh, income in here that we can put, we'll say uncategorized income, not my favorite account, but let's say that that's what that is. Okay, the payment is check reference number 2547 and we'll say it's $500. Okay, so this is a payment that doesn't go against an invoice and it was just a check received, could be a rebate, could be some other kind of check, but it's not for an invoice. All right, so now in this case, this deposit is going to be $500. We're taking it and putting it in the checking account and we should be good to go. So we hit save and close. Okay, now. So when your bank feeds come in, okay, and the deposit shows in the bank, you will see it and you can match it to your register. Okay, it's as simple as that. So this also applies with sales receipts. So if you have a sales receipt and it deposits to undeposited funds, you're going to do the same kind of the same process where you're going to make the deposit, take it to the bank and move it in QuickBooks from undeposited funds to the checking. Okay. And it's, it's really important to understand this whole process because a lot of people get messed up and they have, you know, this balance in undeposited funds that grows and grows and grows and they think they've put it in the checking, uh, but then they will record it in the checking account in addition to the undeposited funds and they end up double counting revenue. So you want to make sure that you don't do this. Okay. All right. Any questions, comments, please leave them below. Happy to answer them for you. Uh, also head over to the QuickBooks University. I'd love to have you join us over there. We've got a great membership community uh, of like-minded people wanting to know how to use QuickBooks uh, to the fullest extent. And uh, also I answer their personal questions uh, when they become a member. Becoming a member simply means you purchase the tutorials and uh, it's a lifetime one-time fee. Uh, it's a great deal. So head over there, qbuniversity.org.